good morning children today we will cover <coughs> today we will cover under whole number distributive property of multiplication over addition and subtraction so far you have done four properties closure property number 1 number second commutative property third associative property fourth identity property now this is the fifth property that is distributive property it's very important and you must mind the terminology also distributive property of multiplication over addition and subtraction under addition the format is a into b plus c is equals to a into b and a into c fine and subtraction the format is a into b minus c distributive property that means to distribute the number into two parts then we and of multiplication over addition and then subtraction this multiplication over addition and multiplication over subtraction right first of all try to understand this i will give you the example to make you more clear to give you more clearer picture of it for example for addition for addition if i say multiply 23 into 102 how you are going to do 23 now you will say 102 is a bigger number this is the use of this property when you multiply the bigger number you split the numbers into two parts so that the calculation becomes easier 102 so what we can do we can can i write 102 as 100 plus 2 it is same fine because i am writing in a bracket and it will come out from the bracket it will hold the same value 102 now multiplication as per this rule a into b and a into c a here a is 23 And b is hundred and c is two, so find a into b. That means twenty three into hundred plus twenty three into two. Find so we will get the result. That it's very easy to multiply any numbers into tens, into hundreds, or thousands. It's very easy. So we are doing to make the calculation comfortable. And twenty three into two is forty six. So here we get the result as two three four six. And otherwise, you would be doing you will be doing the lengthier calculation of multiplications, which might be which might call for the chances of error. But this is the foolproof way and quite easy, and you have the complete control of the calculation part. So for this purpose, this property is in use. Now I'm taking the example of subtraction also. This is for the addition. Now I'm going to give the example of subtraction, and I'm following the same pattern. Okay. Here, if I'm going to do So I'm going to do 23 same number I'm taking into 98, fine? 98. So you will say again it's a complex calculation. 23 into 98 it will go for the lengthy multiplication. But no, we have this property to make use of it. 23 into 100 minus 2. 100 minus 2 is nothing but 98 only. Again we will follow the same pattern where a is 23, b is 100, and c is 2. So we will multiply 23 into 100. Minus twenty three into two, which is twenty three hundred minus forty six. Minus forty six. This is what no, twenty three hundred minus forty six. What we will get the answer is two two five four. Okay, two two five four is the answer. So you can check it by fixing the unit place also eight three by twenty four. So you are getting twenty four. This is the way you can check the answers also. So these are the two properties which you need to learn on the whole number. Going on to some simple questions, four questions I will do with you, so that you have a better understanding of this concept. And mind you, it's very important property. Whenever you start with a complex calculation, go for the distributive property, make your calculation easier, and get the accurate answers. Some practice question I'm doing with you. These are solve, right? Solve. But <coughs> if I'm going to give you a twenty seven into eight plus a twenty seven into two, now in this question, what you can do, what you can see is that it is not in the form of a into in bracket b plus c. It is in the form of a into b plus a into c. Where a is what? A is a twenty seven. B is your eight and C is your two and this is eight. So what you can do is now you will say it is a bit complicated. So what we can do, we can take out the common. When you know the operator plus and plus or minus is in between, and on both the sides there is a common number in multiplication or division. Division तो अभी आपको आया नहीं है. 
पर डिवीजन तो मैं बता दूँ पर दोनों तरफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन या डिवीजन जो भी है अगर उसमें सेम नंबर आ रहा है लाइक ए ट्वेंटी सेवन वी कैन टेक आउट द कॉमन सो हेयर वी आर डूइंग द कॉमन प्रोसेस ए ट्वेंटी सेवन वी आर टेकिंग आउट एज कॉमन सो हेयर ए ट्वेंटी सेवन इज कॉमन टेकन आउट हेयर वी आर लेफ्ट विथ एट प्लस विल रिमेन एज सच एंड हेयर वी आर लेफ्ट विथ टू सो वट द आंसर यू विल गेट ए ट्वेंटी सेवन इन टू टेन दैट इज ए टू सेवन जीरो एंड अदरवाइज यू वुड गुड इन इट टू इट वुड टेक मोर टाइम एंड देर चांसेज ऑफ एरर्स ऑल्सो सो दिस इज द वे यू विल गेट द एक्यूरेट आंसर एट टू सेवन जीरो फाइन वन मोर पार्ट आई एम डूइंग विद यू Suppose B part, I'm giving you 15 into 7, 15 into 7 minus 5 into 7. Again, you will see 7 and 7 is common over here. Just as I have told you, the minus sign is in between, and both of them, which is your number 7, common. Because 7 is here, here is A, B is your 15, C is your 5. So I'm taking it out as 7. 15 minus 5, 5 into 7, 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 5 into 
we cannot never write 200 minus 98 we can write 100 plus 2 that is the easiest way again we will split it with the help of distributive property is ka multiplication is se bhi is ka is se bhi so 123 into 100 plus 123 into 2 fine so we will get the answer as 12300 plus this we will get uh, 246 quite easy fine so 46 5 1 2 5 4 6 is the final answer for this question fine so that means this question shows you a variety from subtraction we switch over to addition depending upon the requirement of the question how we need to solve it okay one more question i would like to do with you uh, This is uh, fine. If I give it to you like this question, uh, last question for the day is I'm giving you the question is such a part 185 into 87 plus 13 into 185. Fine. So now here you will see that. 185 is on both sides of plus operator. So what we can take A as 185, A into B plus C, that is 87, plus 13. We just made our calculation very simple. 185 into 87 plus 13 is your 100. So we'll get the answer as 18500. So this is just an introduction of this property and how it is being used. So you can think about some more scenarios like this. There the greater number you are multiplying with. You can split the number into two. Maybe subtraction, maybe addition. Uh, you can adjust the calculation so that there should not be any error. This is one of the trick of solving complex calculations. Thank you my dear students. I hope you, you have liked the session. And we'll come with some more tricks and properties in coming sessions. Till then, goodbye. Take care of yourself. God bless you all. Thank you so much.